Nursing in Australia, Wikipedia article audio. Nursing in Australia has evolved in training and regulation since the 19th century. History Legal Regulation Types of Nurses Mandatory Registration Requirements for Nurses in Australia Education Professional Titles Salary Nurses are vital to the community. A career in nursing is challenging while also rewarding as it involves helping sick individuals become healthy again. There are many ways of becoming a nurse in Australia, including TAFE or university courses. As there are many people in need of nurses nationwide, there are always jobs available for nurses. Nurses in Australia have many places they can work in, this includes hospitals and schools with the opportunity to have flexible work hours. The salary of a nurse in Australia depends on what type of nurse they are and their years of experience. There are multiple career pathways one may follow within nursing such as pediatrics, intensive care, oncology, and emergency nursing. Prior to the transfer of nursing education to the university sector, Nurses were trained on the job in a three-year course of theory and practice instruction in hospital nursing schools and on the wards commencing with a six-week preliminary training school with the earliest accepted entry age being 17 years. First, second, and third-year student nurses were often distinguished by the number of stripes on their uniform caps and or belts. Hospital-based examinations were held each year and a successful pass meant progression to the next year and a fail meant a student nurse was cut, no second chances. Three years of student nursing culminated in final year exams. Student nurses were paid employees of the parent hospital and there was no sick leave. If a student nurse missed time off through sick leave over the three years of training this time was added on to be worked at the end of the three years and if not worked a nurse was not allowed to graduate. Hospitals awarded distinctive badges and veils upon graduation. In addition, state registering authorities awarded a badge of registration. These were generally worn with pride on the uniform collars. As early as the 1930s, attempts were made to establish university credentialed nursing courses in Australia, most notably by then Director of Nursing at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and the University of Melbourne. As recently as the 1970s, Sandra Stacey, one of the first Australian nurses to attain a PhD enrolled in a school of anthropology to submit her thesis. In the late 1970s, the Royal College of Nursing Australia pioneered a course that became the Diploma of Applied Science, awarded by the Lincoln Institute in Melbourne and Cumberland College in Sydney. The transfer of nursing education to the university sector continued throughout the 1980s, and gradually hospital schools ceased operating. In the early 1990s, Universities finally granted nursing education the same status as allied health, and granted bachelor degrees in nursing rather than diplomas for entry-level courses. The first move towards baccalaureate recognition was the development of the Bachelor of Applied Science, a postgraduate degree that required registration as a registered nurse as a prerequisite to admission and completion of 16 units. This course is no longer offered, and has been superseded by the transition of post-basic courses conducted by various hospitals as a form of in-service training to the tertiary sector. The College of Nursing still runs postgraduate certificate courses for nurses in many specialties. The transfer of nursing education to the university sector from the hospital setting was the result of long-time efforts by leaders in Australian nursing. 
it was opposed by the medical hierarchy who viewed the development of highly trained professional nurses as a threat to their monopoly on the delivery of high-level health care. Many nurses themselves opposed the transfer on the grounds that hands-on experience in hospitals would be lost. One underlying cause of the opposition was that of societal views toward appropriate gender roles, nursing as a female profession and medicine as a male profession. CEO. Historically, a double or triple certificated sister would have been a registered nurse who held general, midwifery, psychiatric, or other range of certificates. The post-nominal RN or RN was used by some nurses to signify this attainment. Nurse practitioners are being introduced into the Australian healthcare community. It was only in December 2000, that the first nurse practitioner was authorised to work in Australia. Since then there are approximately 700 practising throughout Australia. To become a nurse practitioner you must firstly apply to the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Australia, NMBA. After applying to the NMBA you are then required to provide affirmation of the following to be considered. General Registration as a Nurse The required hours of experience in a leading practice, which is three years full-time within the space of the last six years. A master's degree which is from an approved provider. As of July 1, 2010, nurses are regulated by the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Australia, an agency under the Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency under the National Registration and Accreditation Scheme. The practice of nursing was previously governed by state and territorial nursing regulation authorities. The Australian Nursing and Midwifery Accreditation Council was established in 1992 and works with these authorities to facilitate a national approach to nursing and midwifery regulation, which has now been superseded by the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Australia. Nurses fall into the following major categories. Supported by the following. Before being able to work as a nurse you must become registered in Australia. There are specific registration requirements that all new applicants and applicants renewing their registration must meet. Criminal History Check International as of 4 February 2015 Professional Indemnity Insurance Arrangements English Skills Continuation of Professional Development Recency of Practice Registration as a registered nurse now requires a Bachelor of Nursing, considered the foundation for any future specialization within nursing. Postgraduate diplomas provide further vocational training for specialist areas. Master's level courses are available in both research and course work streams. A specialist course has been developed to provide preparation for registration as a nurse practitioner. Professional doctorates are also available. Australia has a long tradition of post-basic courses, usually of a 6-month or 12-month duration, which included midwifery, maternal and child welfare, psychiatric, perioperative, intensive care and coronary care in later years, as well as a myriad of other courses. They are now provided by the university sector as postgraduate diplomas or postgraduate certificates, depending on the length and complexity. There are options available for hospital-trained nurses to upgrade their qualifications to a Bachelor of Nursing. However, most opt instead to undertake specialist courses such as a postgraduate diploma or certification in the area of their clinical interest. Enrolled nurses complete a diploma of nursing and are trained in the technical and further education sector and also universities, although still obtaining the same degree. 
Course length has been increased to 18 months to include a module that permits enrolled nurses to dispense oral medications, as well as perform intramuscular injections, subcutaneous injections, and intradermal injections when additional postgraduate certificates are offered. Diploma and certificate nurses can attend university to gain a Bachelor of Nursing in just two years as their previous qualification allows most to enter at second year. The professional courtesy title sister has fallen into disuse and disapproval, even though it was formerly used by both male and female registered general nurses. The title nurse was used when addressing enrolled nurses. The salary of a nurse depends on two factors, the type of nurse and the years of experience in the position. The initial figure would be the commencing salary, then after years of experience the nurse could potentially receive the larger figure. The salary rates above are the most current rates in Australia, which are from the 1st of April 2016. Nurse Practitioner, Registered Nurse, Enrolled Nurse Assistant in Nursing Nurse Practitioner $118,419 to $123,629, Registered Nurse, $62,724 to $86,316, Endorsed Enrolled Nurse, $56,515 to $59,982, Assistant in Nursing, $52,228 to $57,182.